here we are inside. Everything powered on. I went ahead and I installed some heat sinks. Looks like I got a little piece of fuzz I need to get out of there. And here's the input controls. This is the little guy that translates the button pushes into inputs that the Raspberry Pi will use for the emulators. Here's the start and select buttons. Here is the power supply or power regulator. And I just used a USB cable that I trimmed down and tinned the leads on. And there's the power connection. Everything's all heat shrinked and the network cable is all temporary. And this is what makes the nifty button pushes turn into fade in and fade out with the lighting. This is the Arduino Uno R3. Uh, I will go ahead and put the code that I used, which is not my code. Um, I just messed with the timing on it to get the effect to look how I wanted it to look. I'm powering the Arduino Uno directly off the same 5 volt rail that the controller and the Raspberry Pi are running on. Um, We'll see how that works out. Actually, this is getting its uh, power off the USB, which is coming from the Raspberry Pi, but this code doesn't really, or this uh, Uno doesn't really draw much power, and nor does the uh, adapter here. So, that's about it. Um, you can see that I set the uh, spots for the screws to mount into the base. Set all the rest of the screws. In all actuality, I'll just go ahead and get this disconnected. Um, I'm going to add a dollop of uh, hot glue in there to hold that in place because the glue I used previously didn't hold as well as I wanted it to. And the connector's a little wibbly, uh, little wibbly wobbly. Um, one thing that I was really upset about, and uh, because of my time constraints, I'm not going to be able to fix it. Um, the joystick is in upside down, rotated uh, 180 degrees. Um, I could fix it by extending out this ribbon, but uh, the guy who wants this wanted it done like a month ago, so I'm just going to have to suffer through. Um, I had to remap the, the input so that up was up and not down. Anyhow, that's about it for this, and now I'm going to go ahead and get my hot glue in there, and once the hot glue is in, I will put the base on and get ready to take this on over and deliver it.